Okay, what we're doing today is I have a whitetail here that I shot in Iowa uh, two, three weeks ago, and we're going to grind the meat into a burger, and then we have some pork. We're going to add it to that. I'm going to show you guys how we make deer sausage and package it. grinder will eat it just as fast as you can get it in there. I have these pieces cut up in this nice slim chunk so it's easy to feed down into this like a three inch hole. Okay what I've got here is a nice pork shoulder and what this does is it adds moisture and fat to the meat. We don't want too much in there because it is wild game meat. Uh, what we need to do is we take this skin part off of the pork. I'm gonna take that off, leave some of the fat because it's gonna mix in with the deer meat. Okay, we got the skin off. Now we're gonna just need to take just take it off in chunks and cut it away from this bone. Pork loin works too. This has a little bit more fat content to it. That's a little bit cheaper to buy. Than your pork loin is. Now we got the meat off the bone. What I'm just gonna do is make it in sizable chunks so that we can feed it into this grinder really easy. So this is the seasoning that I'm going to use for it, and this is this bag is good for 25 pounds. So I split my pork into two different bowls, that and this one, then I'm going to split this, put half of it in this and half of it in the other bowl that I've got. It'll, it makes it easier to work with. of it that we're putting in this one. And dump it on there. Mix it in. Just mix it for a few minutes or till you think you've got Got it all mixed together. Pork has a quite a bit lighter look to it. The deer meat has a darker look, so you can kind of tell when it's all blended. Okay, and what we're doing here to get it packaged is I, I took this ring off. I'm going to put this tube in here. Tighten that snug. You don't over tighten it. You want to do it twice, you can just twice and double tape it, but probably don't really need to. Just 